Welcome to a Radio Antics video. My name is Hamza, 2 Echo Zero Hotel X Ray Sierra. Have you ever wanted to access digital mode radio such as Yesu Fusion, DMR, or D Star, but haven't got a radio for that specific mode or don't want to fork out the cash for one? A DMR radio uh, is the cheapest option of them all, uh, but can still cost around £100, uh, £200 for the better models, and an entry level Yesu model like the FT70 costs about the same. Today I'll be talking about and demonstrating a completely free project for Windows computers which will allow you to receive and transmit various different digital modes including Fusion, DMR, D-Star and even the new M17 mode. There's no complicated configuration, no code plugs to program and the setup is very straightforward. Uh, no hotspots, no Pi stars, no open spots required. Uh, there's a similar project called DV Switch, uh, but that requires a Linux machine and some technical know-how. This project is called DudeStar, created by Doug, Alpha Delta 8 Delta Papa. I'll be showing you how to download and set up this experimental software, which is still in development. Uh, whilst there are still some bugs, and the transmit and receive audio isn't super clear like a proper radio, it isn't bad at all for free, and during my testing of the last week, it seems to be working very, very well. This is my first time uh, doing any sort of tutorial um, about how to set up software, so I hope you'll bear with me. I'll try and give as much information as possible and make it as clear as possible. Uh, if there's anything you're not sure about and I have any questions, uh, please leave a comment uh, and I'll include all the links in the description. The first thing uh, I'll show you is uh, the DudeStar GitHub page. Uh, so this is an open source project, meaning you can view any of the source code uh, which is quite quite handy uh, if you're into the development side of things. Uh, this is a little bit of information about DudeStar. So it says software to receive and transmit DStar, DMR, Fusion, uh, NXDN, P25 and M17 and repeaters and gateways over UDP. Um, I haven't had to port forward or edit any of the settings on my local router. Uh, it seems to work just fine out of the box. Uh, this is instructions about how to compile the program on Linux, uh, but on Windows, uh, you just simply run the executable. The, execut the executable is located uh, in the releases section. I'll leave a link to this in description. Uh, and this is a quick look at uh, Alpha Delta 8 Delta Papa. Uh, Douglas, uh, this is his page. Um, if you want to contact him, uh, his email is here. So this is the DudeStar 32-bit Windows build uh, download page, uh, which you'll find a link for in the description. To download it, click the DudeStar.exe uh, executable file. The file is only about 20 megabytes in size, so it should download very quickly. So the first time you open it, it might come up with this error message, Windows protected your PC, um, and this is your computer preventing an unrecognized app from starting. To be able to run the app, you want to right click the file and go to properties uh, and click unblock, uh, hit apply and then click OK. Uh, this will now allow DudeStar to run on your computer. Uh, I've already run an antivirus scan on the, the uh, software and all the code is open to, to be scrutinized, but uh, if you want to, you can right click and scan with Windows Defender if you're uneasy. Uh, it should come up um, as totally clean, uh, as it did for me. So double click to open DudeStar. Uh, some of my information is already populated because I've been using this before, um, but that's it. There's no installation, it doesn't ask you where you want to install it. Everything runs directly from this file, which I think is very handy and uh, makes getting on uh, the digital air uh, very simple. I'll quickly run over some of the options. Uh, for the top one, you want to enable the software vocoder. Uh, this means that it will encode and decode uh, your voice uh, and other people's voice using the DudeStar software. The options are to edit DMR IDs and uh, update host files. I've already done this, but we can do it again just for the video. Uh, so what this will do is um, get a latest uh, database of host files uh, and DMR IDs. So when people are speaking, it will translate their DMR ID to uh, a call sign. So go ahead and just click that. Uh, it will take a few seconds to update. Right, the left option is your output, um, so I'm going to set that to my headphones at the moment, and the right option is your microphone, so I'm going to set that to my microphone. 
Uh, next is uh, the digital mode you want to use. First of all, I'm going to show you Fusion because that's the easiest mode to get working. So you choose YSF. Uh, over here is a list of all the reflectors you can connect to. Uh, some popular ones like CQ UK, uh, America Link are at the top. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to connect to my uh, own reflector, which is Golf Bravo dash Hams on the Gram. Uh, Hams on the Gram, as an aside, is a uh, is a reflector which is linked to uh, Fusion and also DMR uh, Brandmeister 23444. And I run a net there every Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC. Uh, everyone is welcome to join. Right, <laughs> that's the self promotion out of the way. So uh, over here, you want to put your call sign in. So mine is 2 Echo 0 Hotel X Ray Sierra. Um, and that's about it uh, for the call sign. Uh, for DMR, um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's got my DMR ID and hotspot password. I'll show you how to do DMR um, shortly. You want to enable the software RX and software TX buttons if they're not already enabled. Uh, this will let you transmit and receive using the software. The top one is your volume output and the bottom one is your volume input, the microphone gain. Um, you should probably set this to about 20 or 30 percent um, just to start off with. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click connect. The other software um, options are the gateway, uh, the call sign of the person who's speaking, uh, the type, uh, and the frame. These are generally for development, but uh, it's useful to see the call sign of the person who's speaking. To transmit, you just want to click the green button or press and hold the space bar. Uh, both work equally as well. Um, I find the space bar is probably easier. Before I transmit, I'll also talk about the, the host. So the host shows you the IP address and port of the reflector. Again, that's for development purposes, really. Uh, and the ping. The ping isn't your actual uh, ping um, latency to the, to the host. It's rather a developmental feature that, the, uh, that Doug has left in there uh, for his testing. Right. So uh, I'm going to transmit and see if anyone's around on my reflector. This is 2 Echo 0 Hotel X-Ray Sierra uh, testing on uh, DudeStar app. Uh, is anyone monitoring hams on the gram? Um, so that's transmitted. Ooh, 2 0 hxs w 8 l You are just like uh, George was earlier, way overdriven. Okay, so I'm way overdriven. I will drop the input volume a fair bit. W-E-A-T-L, 2-E-0-H-X-S. Um, is that any better? Uh, yes, sir. You are fine now. Thanks very much, Jason. Um, I'm just making a quick video tutorial. Um, and so I uh, appreciate you coming back. Right, I'll quickly... No worries. Have a good one. Have you clear? I'll quickly mute this. Um, so like I was saying... Um, you saw the mic gain before was quite uh, quite high. You want it around 10 to 15 percent. Um, you can experiment with that uh, in your own time. Okay, now I'll show you how to uh, use the DMR side. So click disconnect to disconnect from the reflector. Uh, next, um, you choose DMR. Um, you can choose a master server from here, uh, you enter your call sign, uh, your DMR ID, and your hotspot password. I've made a video about uh, setting a hotspot password on my channel. Um, hotspot passwords, I think, are now compulsory um, in nearly all master servers, um, so uh, check out the video if you don't know how to do that. You set a password on the brandmeister.network uh, website. Over here, you enter the talk group, um, and so I'll set that to uh, 23444, uh, which is my own um, talk group. Well, the hands on the ground talk group. Uh, software RX, software TX enabled, um, and that's it. Hit connect. It uh, takes a little while to connect. And there we go, we are connected. So I will do a test transmission. 
2 Echo 0, Hotel X-Ray Sierra, testing on talk group 23444, 2E0HXS. So over here you can see. Yeah, copy Hamza, uh, 2 Echo 0, Hotel X-Ray Sierra, K2NDX uh, with WE8L. Uh, we hear you. A little low on the audio, but I do hear you. Okay, so that's the problem. Sometimes you need to adjust the input volume between modes. So I'm going to slightly increase on my input volume. Uh, 2E0HXS returning. Thanks very much, Paul. I've increased the uh, audio a little bit. Uh, how's that? No, copy. Your, your audio clarity is great. It's just it sounds low. I have the volume on uh, 19 right now. I raised it up just to see if it was me. Um, and uh, it just you sound very low on the mic and uh, like the actual audio. Okay, so you can also access other digital modes, such as M17, P25, and D-Star. However, um, I have no experience in D-Star. With M17, um, you can click M17 and choose a different servers. Uh, and I believe it works the same way as Fusion, uh, although I don't really know too much about M17 at the moment. Um, but just to show, uh, you can click Connect, and it will connect to uh, one of the servers, uh, establishing some sort of link. And uh, 2E0HXS testing. You can transmit um, and it comes up with your call sign. Um, but I don't believe there's anyone listening on the other side at the moment just because the mode is so new. So I'll disconnect. Uh, I hope I've done a decent job at explaining how to get going with Fusion and DMR for free using the DudeStar software. Um, it's still experimental and there are some bugs with audio levels um, but overall I'd say Doug has done a very good job at making digital uh, accessible to uh, people who don't uh, have a radio or don't want to invest in a radio or people who are just looking to see you know what the activity is like um, on digital mode radio uh, I'd say look out for some uh, uh, new releases he might put out on his website I'll leave a link again in the description below. Um, he might uh, update the software and fix the issues with audio levels. This is the first uh, tutorial video of this kind I've made on YouTube. So if there's anything I've missed out on or projects you'd like uh, me to explain in the future, um, your comments are very, very welcome. Uh, links to download uh, the software and for more information are in the description below. Uh, please consider subscribing to uh, my channel Radio Antics as I plan to make a lot more videos in the future which I hope will be interesting to you and the rest of the amateur radio community. Uh, finally I run a net every Saturday at 8pm UTC on uh, Fusion and DMR. Uh, the Fusion room is uh, gb hams on the gram, uh, the same one I was testing earlier. We have a community from the US, uh, South America, the UK and Europe and uh, you're more than welcome to join the net. So uh, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching again, and 73 from me, Hamza, 2 Echo Zero, Hotel, X-Ray, Sierra. I hope to see you soon in another Radio Antics video.